now let's take a look at method overloading and then method overriding the differences we'll see very important you know you have to understand method overriding to understand a lot of other concepts that will follow so first we'll start off with method overloading what is method overloading so the discussion now is method overloading in a class i'll just take the same example here class person we have we have display person will display the name i'll just give another method display person see the method is having the same name but it's getting an string input and what it will do is it will just print input plus this dot name so why i say it is method overloading you have the you have two methods with the same name but then they differ in the type of arguments they take so here there are no arguments passed here you have one argument passed so based on the type of arguments i am passing that specific method will be called so if i create an object of type person say let me create an object of type person i call satish new person and uh, now if i invoke satish dot display person and again i call satish dot display person and then i pass say hello so now what happens satish dot display person will invoke this method whereas satish dot display person which gets an input string will invoke this method so this is called compile time polymorphism you can call this compile time polymorphism what is polymorphism polymorphism I think it is polymorphism what is compile time polymorphism what is polymorphism polymorphism means a function taking different forms there are many forms for the same function say display person is the function here it is printing this whereas the same function is taking another form here so many functions with the same name but each function taking a different form that is called polymorphism so we call this polymorphism different functions taking i mean same function taking different forms why i say it's the same function because they have the same name and i say this is compile time polymorphism what is compile time polymorphism when i compile my code that time that binding happens like for this method which function should be invoked this function should be invoked and for this method which function should be invoked that binding happens during compilation so which form of the function should be invoked that decision is taken during compilation so that becomes compile time polymorphism so what is polymorphism you can say method overloading to be an example for polymorphism same function having different forms and why i say it's a compile time polymorphism because during compilation the decision is made on which function should be called and that is and that decision depends on the type of arguments you pass for that function are you all clear with compile time polymorphism are you all clear with method overloading okay so this is done let me delete this method now we'll see method overriding what is this method overriding let me delete all these things let's start fresh so this demo is for method overriding in java method overriding what is method overriding very simple say i love a method here public void display uh okay i'll have something display test function something like this i'll have and uh, here i'll say sys out hello from person test so this is the method i'm having that is called display test and what is the subclass to this person class student extends person see i can have the same method redefined inside my student class too so will i have the same method say public void what is the method name display test i can have the same method redefined i can again define say i can give some definition here sys out 
I can say this is from student test. Okay. So this method which I am inheriting, I am overriding here in my subclass. Overriding in the sense, okay, I take that method and then I give my own definition for that method. So I can put my own logic here, right? So that is overriding. So overriding, the relationship occurs between a superclass and subclass. Always have that. So what is overriding? You have a method in the superclass. You take the same method, you write that in the subclass, and you redefine that method in the subclass. So that is overriding. You are giving some other definition for that same method. Now let's create an object of the type subclass. Say let's say student Satish is equal to new student, and uh, if I call Satish dot display test. Which method is going to be called here? The method in the subclass will be called. See, this method exists in the subclass. This method also exists in the superclass. But when I do Satish dot display test, preference will be given for method in the subclass because we have created an object for the subclass. So let's run this. Let's see what is the output. So you have to get display from student test. Simple method overriding. Nothing. Uh, much so this is from student test if i'm not having this method here say i don't have this method at all here let me control x control s if i execute this what will happen the method from the super class will be called let's see the output so this is the output now the call is from the super class yes so what our friend is saying here is you're going to have this here you're going to create an object for the parent class and invoke the Method say you create an object for the parent class like this. Person Satish is a new person, and then you call Satish dot display test. So which method is going to be called now? That is the. So you're going to see that now. Hello from person test. So when you are creating an object of type person and invoking the method, definitely this method will be called. If you are overriding this method in the student class, creating an object of type student and then calling dot display test, this will be called. If you are not overriding, obviously it will search for that method in the parent class and then call that. So, did you understand the difference between method overriding and method overloading? So now the question comes: Can we override a static method in the super class? Say I have a, a static method. I'll say public void static void. So this is a static method in the superclass and a static method in the subclass. Can I override a static method in the superclass? The answer is yes. You can override a static method in the superclass in your subclass. So this is a static method. This is also a static method. One of the important key things here is you can override a static method with only another static method in the subclass. So now let me call this static method. How will you call a static method? You have to use the class name. So let's uh, follow this. Uh, let me create an object of type student. And uh, how will I call this method static method? That is class name dot display test. So when I call class name dot display test, you will see the overridden static method in the child class will be called. This is from student test. Yeah. So you can override a static method in the super class using a static method in the base class, but you should never do this. You should never perform this. You cannot override a static method in the base class with a non-static method in the subclass. Are you clear with this? Any doubts here so far on inheritance, super keyword, method overloading, method overriding?